Meanwhile, controversy continues over proposed revisions to the high school curriculum guidelines. Six DPP-led municipal governments believe there's a deliberate attempt to shift the emphasis from Taiwan to China in the new curriculum. The local officials want a temporary suspension of the changes. Education Minister Zhang Weiling said that changing high school curriculum guidelines to use the term mainland China instead of China is in line with the Constitution. However, Tainan City Bureau of Education chief didn't agree, setting off a heated debate, though Zhang was unwilling to engage in the vocal battle. By constitutional, I mean it is based upon the act governing relations between the people of the Taiwan area and the mainland area. This is what we follow, so why do you think it is unconstitutional? On the second day of a national meeting of education bureaus, Tainan, Kaohsiung and a total of six DPP-led municipalities initiated an interim proposal to temporarily suspend the new guidelines and reconsider their changes. We definitely would not be able to force our first line of teachers to teach this, as there is no consensus about these facts. We have no way to be accountable for the next generation. Although the proposal aroused a heated discussion, Education Minister Jiang said the new guidelines had already passed and would be announced next week and would be implemented in the next school year. I think that at this point in time, there will be no changes in our procedures, so we will continue to move forward. Debate may continue to rage as six DPP-controlled municipalities pledge to continue rejecting these new curriculum guidelines.